we are talking about one of the great humanitarian crises of our times. And I know New Zealanders will want to make their contribution to solving that. People often conflate an immigrant with a refugee. Please explain for us in simplest terms, what's the difference? An immigrant is someone who's voluntarily chosen to make a move to another country, often to improve their circumstances or because of family situations or something. It's a very free choice. A refugee is a person by definition who has nowhere to go. When Alan Curdy, you know, the little toddler who mm. looked like everybody's niece and nephew and grandson and child, washed up on that beach, it felt like the peak of empathy really hit a high. It seemed that empathy fatigue set in. Are we tired of the story? The refugee numbers are large and it has, the story has been repeated many times so people can become tired of the story. But you can't become tired of your common humanity. They are part of us. We are all humans. We all deserve some possibility of a satisfying life. And uh, whatever New Zealand does will not be large. We're a small country, though we're a wealthy one in world terms. But we can be generous within that construct. And I think that's what most New Zealanders would want to do. There are no rational arguments against us being more generous. None at all. We can do it. We can afford it and we can offer that hand of welcome and friendship. By taking refugees, we're taking resources from Kiwis. How do you feel about that? Well, you could say that, but every child that's born is taking the opportunity from another child, perhaps. I mean, somehow we can just lock up everything inside New Zealand just for Kiwis who were born here. I mean, that'd rule out half the people, including my parents, so, you know. Do refugees cost us money? In the short run, yes, but not in the long run. In the short run, obviously, we have to provide support when they arrive in New Zealand. And in the long run, they're contributing citizens. So they'll become good Kiwis. Who knows, one or other might play for the All Blacks, or one of them might end up Prime Minister. I mean, we all arrived yesterday, metaphorically. I mean, my parents arrived uh, in 1930. That's not long ago. There's many, many others who have arrived much, much later than that, so. What do we gain by taking refugees? We gain a vibrant society. I mean, It'd be boring if the only society we knew about was sort of ancient England. I mean, the vitality that different cultures, different values, different structures bring is what makes a country alive and enticing. And the great challenge for the world is how do we look at issues in this modern world with eyes that see a different world? Because certainly going forward, we want a different world than we had in the past. What do you want to say to New Zealanders who don't want to take more refugees? Just relax. Show a little generosity and a little humanity for those who are suffering.